Guys, welcome to an episode of Submit Every Day, my personal BJJ vlog, a karate black belt yeah. journey into jujitsu. My ankle's getting better because I had uh, sprained it for a little, uh, about almost, uh, maybe just over two weeks ago, two weeks and a day or two ago. And, uh, and so it's uh, making its way better. Uh, swelling is pretty much almost all gone. And uh, the other thing is that we've also just restarted the fundamental cycle. So we're back on week one, which means I've essentially completed an uh, entire uh, first cycle. So uh, I started actually on week, what, uh, week 16. I started on week 16. And so I completed, uh, so right now, this is second time I'm going to class this week. That means I have completed 16 weeks plus week 16 plus week one, so 18 weeks of jujitsu. And I gotta say, it's been real nice getting a lot of what I had uh, picked up back in karate classes, at least in the two years uh, of the first two years of a black belt, um, where we were doing jujitsu stuff way back when I was in uh, high school. A lot of it is coming back. I think I've learned a lot more in these 18 weeks uh, than uh, than I did in terms of the variety and the details and the nuances and the technicalities uh, that I did uh, in karate classes. What's happening, folks? So I just finished up with class here. And uh, one of the things I want to share uh, some advice that was uh, given to me by uh, a sensei. Actually, he's a judo and aikido sensei who is a, currently a purple belt in uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu here at Crazy Baja. He was just kind of explaining to me how, you know, as somebody who's in their 30s, uh, I should take it easy in terms of, um, especially with the ankle. And one of the, his advice was, uh, and one of the mistakes that some of these guys do make is uh, ensure that you focus on recovery. Now that doesn't mean you don't train, but that means you don't go hard. Don't uh, push it too much. Let the thing heal. Obviously you wanna do activity, you wanna ice it, you wanna uh, drive blood into it. But one of the things he explained to me was like, in terms of the way that my injury happened, if let's say these were my arms, well, these are my arms. If these were my feet, right? What happened was I had my feet because uh, I was in the mountain position. And this is how I basically injured it. I was in the mountain position. I had my feet like this. And the, uh, the person who was under me uh, sweeped me. But when they were sweeping me, I was trying to keep them in the bottom position. Now, what I should have been doing is I should have gone, just simply gone for the submission as I normally would have. But instead, I was just trying to hold the position. Uh, which is not a good idea in in my scenario, especially somebody who is just like, uh, at least my the way that I'm just wired is like, you know what, I got to finish it. Uh, but when I force myself to not finish and I try to hold that position, I guess just in my own experience, that's where the injuries tend to occur. And so I had my feet under him, had my hooks in deep. And then when he rolled me, one of my feet basically went out like this. And so this, I felt the uh, uh, best there's way to... Apparently there's a tendon that runs down uh, from on outside of the leg, down un under, I guess, the ball and whatever, right? So when my foot ended up going out like that, something happened here. So I guess there's some smaller tendons and whatnot, because essentially from what I understand, when it comes to tendons, um, you know, you can stretch the tendon, you can have some tears within the tendon, you can rupture the tendon, um, and, uh, and then apparently you can also pop the little tendons that are uh, supporting tendons that are underneath it. And so when it comes to that scenario, you just kind of, I guess, gotta let it heal. So the rest and recovery, depending on the severity of the injury, there's a certain amount of time. He was saying that, oh, it's been like two weeks. He's like, give it four weeks, maybe even consider giving it two months. Um, but in reality, he was like, don't go so hard with the ankle for at least three to maybe six months. And he's like, in six months, you should, you know, generally speaking, be able to recover fully. But if you don't let it recover, then you're just going to be at it for the rest of your life. And so, and he was explaining how uh, he's over 60 years old. 
And so whenever, the, I mean, he's looking back in terms of injuries that he had sustained or he currently has sustained. And so it's just like, you know, it takes him longer to recover. So it's like take advantage of the recovery speed at the youth that I have right now. And so that was basically the advice that he imparted. So this is where I'm at, um, finishing up um, class number 37 from uh, Gracie Baja. So uh, we'll see how the following months progress. It'll be interesting continuing these BJJ vlogs. This is basically it. Submit every day.